everybody! Today we're going to make uh, coconut macaroons. My youngest absolutely loves coconut and her birthday is on Thursday so this is and on the 7th so I'm making these so that she can have them in her lunches on her birthday as well as for the fridge for either they free all all my cookies that I make um, freeze well um, because they always make like a huge batch so and I don't like to have so much sweets in the house that everybody can have like one cookie or two cookies you know so I'm gonna show you the recipe here's the recipe I'll put a link to it um, down below it call it makes two dozen cookies. It calls for three tablespoons of water, two third a cup of granulated sugar, one tablespoon of light corn syrup, half teaspoon of salt, um, one fourteen ounce bag of shredded coconut, two egg whites room temperature, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So it says combine water, sugar, corn syrup, and salt in the saucepan. Right there's the sugar. And how much salt? Half a teaspoon. That's good. That's about half a teaspoon. And that's three tablespoons of water. And I'm guessing that light corn syrup is the clear corn syrup. So I'm just going to put about a tablespoon there. And then we're supposed to bring this to a boil. Bring to a boil over medium heat, stirring frequently and dissolve the sugar, and then remove from heat. So I will do that. There we go. In the meantime, here's two egg whites and two egg yolks. I'm going to cover that and put that in the fridge for to be used in another recipe. A later date. And then it says to put the coconut in here. I don't have a full bag of 14 ounces. Um, I have a half, a half a cup here. Two cups there. So, this is 400 grams, which is about a pound. Almost a pound. I don't like it with measurements and ounces is, a, is about a cup so it's about that was about a cup and a half so and a half so about two cups of coconut I'm not gonna worry too much oh, and I need to put the vanilla in the egg white this comes to a boil and the sugar is all dissolved and the sugar is all dissolved so now we turn this off and we remove from the heat so it can stop cooking let that cool for a little bit in the egg whites we put a teaspoon of uh, Vanilla. There we go. And then we're just going to whisk the egg whites and the vanilla together. Then I'll cut the above. So, 
when you're putting this, make sure that it's an oven proof or heat proof bowl, which is, a, is glass versus a plastic one, because you're going to be pouring the hot syrup. I'm just going to take the spatula out and put it in here. I'm pouring it all over. There, I got all the syrup in. And then you just mix this together and then let this cool for 10 to 20 minutes because right now it's burning hot <laughs> and you don't want when you add your egg whites to that just to cook the egg whites because that would just taste gross <laughs> Sherry cook all of the coconut. It's still hot. Not burning hot. I'd taken it off the heat. There we go. I'll just make sure it's a whisk. And we put the egg whites and vanilla in the bowl. And make sure. Stir that all together. If you want them to be lily white, I should have used the white vanilla, but the brown vanilla I have um, is already open, so. But that's okay. We like them toasted anyway, so a little brownish. And this way, also with the with the brown vanilla, you could see which parts have been touched by the egg white vanilla mixture and which hasn't. So just make sure it's mixed really well. You get everything from the sides. And then you use an ice cream scoop. Then you use an ice cream scoop and get a scoopful and put on the cookie sheet. They, these um, macaroons won't spread because there's nothing to spread. There's no rising agents or anything. So you, can, you don't have to have as much space. You just have to make sure that everything is And there we have 12 and we still have some more to make some more. I made them quite big um, as they're supposed to be a treat for my daughter. So now I'm now going to set the oven to 375. And then I'll put these in for 15 to 18 minutes. Since my oven was already heated for cooking up supper. And here are the macaroons. I cooked them a little bit too long. I kind of forgot to put the timer on. And they were cooked more closer to the 18, 19 minute mark than the 15 minute mark. But we like the brown, golden brown top, so they're not burnt or anything. The bottoms, if we can look at them, are, uh, are brown. They'll be easy to lift up, but I don't want to really move too many because they'll fall apart. See, they're still brown. I'm going to let them cool on the mat, and I will do the rest another time. So, coconut macaroons, 
the taste yummy. Mm. Please give it a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe, and wait for tomorrow's video of what I'm going to be baking tomorrow for day five of the 24 days of Christmas baking. Bye, friends!